What's up YouTube? Today we're going to have a look at a new plugin from Altar Wisdom called Auto Glitch. I've been beta testing this plugin for a while now and it's finally officially out on his Gumroad page. I'm going to leave a link in the description to another video which will explain all the parameters in detail. My main focus with this video is just going to show you how I would use it for my tracks. So I got a basic squelch sequence going on, which I was planning to grab some textural stuff out of and some glitchiness in order to sequence it into something that I could use in my track. So here's the sample. So as you can hear, it's not something super advanced. It's just a sequence repeating all over and over again. Um, so let's get right to it. Um, the parameters I'm going to focus on is the panning, panning probability. I'm going to set that to 50%. I'm going to uh, turn down the width a little bit because I don't want it to be super wide. And I'm going to set the timing to, uh, to one eighth. I think that's going to be, uh, plenty. Um, I'm going to leave the length processing to a hundred percent for now. May change this. And then I'm going to actually slow down the rate. And if we click over here under effects edit, I'm going to open up a new window and I'm going to focus on the stutter section, which you can find here. I'm going to skip the pan section and the bit crusher section. I'm going to focus on the pitch shifting as well. For the pitch, you can choose different algorithms. I'm going to stick to basic for now. <clears throat> and then you have a comb filter section and an ordinary filter section over here. So, anyway, let's get right to it. So as you can hear now, it's repanning at a 50% rate. So the best practice for this kind of for, uh, with using this plugin is to actually, since it's randomly based, I highly advise you to record everything into audio. And I've already prepared the routing, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit record here. I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to play around with the parameters.
play a little bit faster. Play with the length processing. I guess that's it for now. So we got ourselves our recording over here. And I just need to double check if I'm muted, which I'm not, because I forgot what I said. Got some pretty cool stutters right here actually um I like this last part. And I'm going to try the same approach, but I'm going to take this FM sequence over here. I'm going to repeat this. And, uh, okay, I caught it off at a pretty weird. Oh, 
I think that's fine. So let's mute this guy. I'm going to take this FM sequence. Do the same with it. I'm gonna glitch it up. So let's leave some room for that as well. And let's delete it. Learn throwing a new instance. And I need to turn off the record automation. And let's do the same approach. Gonna slow the rate down. Let's start recording.
So yeah, I think I got enough material now. Let's just delete that guy and find the beginning. By holding Control Alt, I can scrub my way through the samples like this. There we go. So yeah, I think I got some pretty cool sequences there. Um, I'm not going to showcase how I would sequence it because that's going to be a very long and tedious thing to do. Um, so sorry to disappoint you, but that's going to be for another type of video uh, when I feel a little bit more confident and when I have a little bit more material to actually use. Um, what I could do, or what I could imagine myself doing, is I would probably do the auto grid approach with these types of sounds, and where I had load up like I don't know four, five, six, seven different sounds uh, that are glitched up like this, and then I will have an auto grid that would probably spit out different sequences, and then I would cherry pick some of those. That's, for example, how I would uh, how I made this one over here. So that's 100% random. The only thing that I actually did was to actually create the patches and pick out the part that I actually liked. So there's a lot of power in just cherry picking. Um, that's basically how I create all of these bleep loops and whatever you want to call it so anyway um thanks for watching so make sure to check out the video from altar he's going to explain in more detail how the plugin actually works and he's going to go through all the different uh, parameters and sections within the plugin so yeah cheers